Hi, and welcome back. It's Laura at Hyper Stamper. Today's junk journal is using a book from 1902, and it's called The Spenders. Now, this is not the original image. Underneath here is the image of a very angry old man that I didn't think was very nice for a junk journal. So I, it took me forever to find something that I thought would be perfect for this spot. And I found it in this 1884 um reader's book, a uh, children's learning book, and the images in here are exquisite. So I found this one of this little girl uh, sitting on a rock with the, the rose garden below her and she's holding a little flower. I thought it was beautiful. I love everything about this. It's, oh, it's just so pretty and it's so old. So I made uh, the bangles just out of some matching binding here and uh, vintage uh, dangles here to add to the dangles. So let me show you inside. It's pretty cool. The original inscription here is from Summerside Farm. I don't know where that is, but I really, really want to. And here are the original first pages. And of course, this is going to be on Etsy momentarily, uh, hyperstamper.etsy.com. And everything in here is authentic, antique and vintage ephemera. I don't use any commercial products at all. So everything's just like a little journey through history. This one's quite chunky and I've overstuffed it <laughs> with treasures. So here, look at this gorgeous plate inside here. Look at that cheeky look on that lady's face. It's just wonderful. And there we've got the publication date. And then this is how many they had printed. And a lovely little children's book page here with the robins and their nest from the 1930s. And this wonderful photograph. And I, I kind of, I love their costumes and their, no, they're not costumes, it's what they wore. Uh, and this is from the early 1920s. Isn't that wonderful? So there's a, a photograph on each side because I could not peel them off without ruining both of them. So lucky owner of this journal gets both. Here's another plate from this book. I just trimmed it down a bit uh, because it couldn't fit otherwise. Another wonderful plate. It was this angry guy on the cover. I, I didn't know. No, it needs to be a happy cover. <laughs> This is a bingo card that I got. It's from the 1950s, and you can do all kinds of fun stuff with that. Upcycle it, journal on it, play bingo on it. No, don't do that. It'd be very sad because you'd be the only person playing. Okay, then we have some vintage paper here from school book and a vintage botanical book page, vintage sewing book page from, that's the Little Mother's chapter, uh, and that's from the 1920s. Another wonderful children's book page piece there. Another original two pages from this book. From extra journaling space. This is a wonderful little uh, image from the 1920s children's school book and you flip it up and there's some antique paper here to journal on. I love the faded colors in there and then I also made it into a pocket and tucked in this uh, 1950s uh, Wonder Bread receipt. Isn't that cool? You can do lots of fun stuff with that and this is all mounted on top of a 1950s or sorry 1850s whoa, history book page. I made this tag um, out of a clipping from a magazine from 1950 and it's got how to make jewelry. Uh, you can purchase all these things to make jewelry. Not much different than today with jewelry being a very hot hobby. Another plate from this book. I tried to put all of the plates back into this book because there were only a few so they're pretty precious. Just pulled that from an antique book there and this is from 1930s. Uh, book. It's one of these wonder. Look at that beautiful. It has not faded a bit over the last almost hundred years. That beautiful fuzzy cardstock. This is another uh, image from a antique book. Nineteen. I want to say the nineteen twenties. And this is from a vintage book. Uh, could even be antique, but it was a nursery rhyme book. And you've got all kinds of uh, recognizable fun imaging on there. And that is. The, the colors are still so vibrant and that was the first inside page of that book. Now this I thought was a modern postcard for the longest time and I turned it over and realized that it's actually um, 1967, uh, March 26, 1967. So that's almost 60 years old. That's pretty cool and it's just lovely. It's just lovely. I really like that one. And we have another botanical page here, vintage children's book workbook page. This is another page, an antique book page, 2LLJ, dedication page. And the Bobsy Twins 
book page pocket here and this is from a German ladies fashion magazine uh, from the 1950s early 50s and this is just stunning they had the best fashion magazines look at these gorgeous outfits these women are wearing these beautiful knitted cardigans I think that's really fun and another fun children's book page here bunnies these are so many bunny stories from the uh, 19 early 1900s for children this is a really hilarious uh, housekeeping page. How to how to uh, properly keep your house as a good housewife does in the 1950s. This is from Hit Parade magazine, and it is from 1956. And this is the National Radio Fan Club page. So these are the people who want to be in the different Eddie Fisher fan club, Elvis Presley, Pat Boone. Uh, just it's awesome. It's just awesome. And there it is, the National Radio Fan Club, and. Uh, I think that's a real treasure and we well, don't have fan clubs anymore do we or do we maybe we do i should have one <laughs> sorry Cheeky. okay i'm tired this is from a library with drone stamp on it that's actually from my hometown library and this is a gorgeous plate from art education 1920s it's beautiful thistle here just love it and this is the last plate, I think, from this book. Gorgeous. Another children's book page down here from the 1920s. And another one of these awesome housekeeping magazine or mag housekeeping book pages. This is just a removable little antique journaling envelope there that you can scribble in. Lots of vintage children's book pages here, a vintage music page here. A nice little journaling spot here on an antique Hans Brinker book page. And this is just a little booklet I've tucked into the pocket with lots of little scraps. That's a French dictionary page, vintage, all kinds of little vintage papers in there. And that's a stamp collector's book page. This is actually the only thing that is not uh, antique and vintage, so full disclosure. But it's gorgeous because it has infused um, leaves in here or sprigs. Uh, natural so it's all natural so uh, that counted as a for me a special piece to go in here's a vintage recipe book page and here is one of my vintage birds and their eggs and nests book page I, oh gosh i feel like i'm running low on these but i do still have more to do a couple dozen more i, I believe 1890s uh sunday reading for the young this wonderful full page plate here I like that. I think that's really sweet. The little girls jumping the fence to get away from the cows. And this one here, because it's mounted on a vintage recipe book page, I thought this was perfect. This, I think, is a collector's item, personally. This is, um, when you make jams and jellies, this modern way, there's no such word as fail. If you're at my house, that is not true. <laughs> uh, look how wonderful that is. So we've got Wesson oil, how to make mayonnaise, jams and jellies it's just fabulous and then down here is a um, Serto uh, product that you can send away for and I just love the colors for 1926 that is a lot of color for a magazine let me tell you the the uh, company would have spent an awful lot of money for that one another wonderful 1920s children's book page here some lovely crochet and a vintage bird book page here uh, this is George Washington plate, and that is from a very early 1900s uh, school book from America. More pretty lace down here, and this is a uh, 1920s Gateways to Bookland. This is a little signature from an antique book of poems, and it's, uh, it's got the gold on the sides, which is lovely. So I just thought that was really fun, pretty little piece to have, kind of special. And this is a 51-year-old ledger from a lodge. Uh, Mother Goose, Bye Bye Baby Bunting, 1930s, and 1930s Monopoly Money, and a chance card, Advanced to Illinois Avenue. Pearl Shop from the 50s, another 19, that one's 1930s children's book page. And this is earlier than that. And then I've got two little vintage pieces here. Actually, this is a vintage playing card, a mini playing card set from the 50s. And that is a banknote from the 20s. So I hope you love it. You can see the rest of my journals on hyperstamper.etsy.com. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you soon.